What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you five of the best classes for the beginner in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Pathfinder is a very large game, even the video game adaptations. There's a lot to know. And as such, getting started can be fairly overwhelming for people, which is why I decided to put this short video together, kind of explaining some of the best classes to get you started. Now, this video does assume a few things. For starters, that you're a beginner, obviously. So if you see any of these, or if you have any other classes you would prefer to play, go play them. I mean, honestly, don't let anybody on the internet tell you how to enjoy your game. But while these are five of my personal picks, they are hardly the only answers. But again, assuming you're a beginner and thus... I really wouldn't recommend playing above normal for your first time through, as things like unfair difficulty are just that. It is literally unfair. You have to cheese a lot of stuff to make that work. But that said, most everything is viable if you try hard enough on normal. So with no further ado, these are in no particular order, but in the number five spot we have the ever-reliable fighter. So fighters in Pathfinder are basically a jack of all trades in a lot of ways. They're pretty great for any sort of martial discipline, really. And as such, they are pretty much right up the alley of the beginner person. They hit things one way or the other, and they can be pretty good at it. Now, there are also several archetypes you can choose from, which can switch things up if you're looking for a bit more of something in depth. A personal favorite fighter archetype of mine is actually the Mutagen Warrior, which kind of plays like a Witcher build, which is always fun. And the Dragon Air Scion is an ever popular archetype as well, as you get a Draconic Bloodline minus some of the Sorcerer spells. Now, in our next spot, we have the Barbarian. Now, I would recommend playing a Barbarian if you find Fighter to be a little too simple, as the Barbarian has more mechanics to play around with primarily through use of their rage powers, and as such, they can just be very good at hitting things in melee. This is especially true if you decide to pick up some of their archetypes, such as the one that gives you an animal companion, which can be a lot of fun, but combine those slightly more interesting mechanics with your rage ability, and again, you can just be very good at hitting things in melee, as rage in this game is especially great for a variety of reasons, but basically it's a huge buff. And then combined with the fact that once you start getting mythic abilities, you can actually remove the daily limit on your number of rounds you can rage, makes a rage barbarian or any build focused around all of the various types of rage in this game very effective. Now, in our third place, we have the Sorcerer. This is on here primarily for the more magically inclined. Now, in Pathfinder, on the higher difficulties, magic casters tend to be the top dogs, and while Sorcerers are definitely kind of up that alley, the main reason I recommend Sorcerer is simply that it is probably the easiest magic caster to play because you don't have to prepare your spells, and building them is fairly straightforward. That said, if you're unaware of how the magic system works, and because this is a beginner video, I highly recommend you check out my video explaining the entirety of the magic system, as just playing a magic caster as a beginner can be a little rough, as there's a lot to know just about how it functions mechanically, behind the scenes, but if you want to play a magic user for your first go-round, I highly recommend the Sorcerer as my personal first pick, though the Arcanist is also very fun as well. Now, in our number four spot, we have the Ranger. Ranger's on here just because, honestly, it's just a classic cool class, you know? There's a variety of ways to play them. You, of course, get your animal companion, typically. You can also choose to bond with your companions if you don't want the animal companion, though the animal companion is usually the way to go. But it also has a variety of fun archetypes that can really change things up. For instance, the Demon Slayer archetype is particularly great in this particular adventure path because it being Wrath of the Righteous, you are going to be fighting a lot of demons, which the Demon Slayer gets a lot of bonuses too. But Rangers are relatively straightforward to play. They get to specialize in a combat style, such as two-handed or ranged or dual-wielding even, and then combine that with the Animal Companion, Plus, they get a little bit of spell casting, and they can be a very effective class to play. And that brings us to our last entry, and while this video in general wasn't in any particular order, this particular one I do actually recommend personally more so than the rest of the other classes, and that is the Inquisitor. So I really enjoy Inquisitors in Pathfinder because they're just sort of a jack-of-all-trades. They can be a spell caster, they can have a pet, they can specialize in a variety of damage, they get their judgment ability which offer them all sorts of bonuses. You can spec them into harder to hit tankier builds. They can be a ranged weapon user. And honestly, the list goes on. And that is why I recommend the Inquisitor for a first-time player more so than any other class, 
simply because the Inquisitor is capable of doing just about anything. There's a ton of very strong builds for an Inquisitor, and I think it is a great way to get into the mechanics of how Pathfinder actually works without playing a class that is so simple that you don't really see a lot of the mechanics. Combine that with the fact that the Inquisitors actually roll into the most popular mythic path, the Angel, incredibly well, and you've got a real winner for first-time players. So there you go. There is my list of the top five classes that I personally would recommend for beginners. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't let this list stop you from trying any particular class. The best way to learn about this game, as big as it is, is to just play it and try things and find out what does and does not work for you. But if nothing else, I hope this list gave you a good place to start if you were struggling at character creation. So with that in mind, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz that I have to say, because otherwise, we can't even call this a YouTube video. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom, and have an amazing day.